Hello viewers, welcome to the Omniverse, Justin here. I'll be discussing with you guys today the history of mankind, specifically how we went from living in caves to living in skyscrapers in the following series. To understand our history, we must travel back 2.6 million years ago, when the first modern human came into existence. This is why I like to call it the hunter and gatherer era, but for those of you taking war history, it is called the Paleolithic Age, which means the Old Stone Age. The gatherers gathered fruits and berries while the hunters killed off animals. There are two notable achievements by human during this time. The first is we learned how to make fire, and the second is we learned how to make stone tools. Technologies back then, don't you love it? It is worth mentioning that during this era, males and females are on relatively equal grounds, with women and children doing most of the gatherings and men doing most of the huntings. This equality will not be restored until... Um, actually, it is not fully restored in some places even today. Around 750,000 years ago, humans are already in most areas of the world, and around... 12,000 years ago, we entered the Mesolithic Age, which means the Middle Stone Age. During this period, humans are like, it is hard to do all the hard works ourselves. Let's domesticate some animals to help us hunt, and we'll kill them off if we run out of food. So animals like dogs, horses, and cows became our BAF's best animals forever. Around 10,000 years ago, we entered the Neolithic Age, which is the New Stone Age. And for better or worse, the agricultural revolution started at this time. Humans finally figured out that if you plant seeds in the ground, it will grow into plants that will give you food. This provided a much more stable food source than chasing animals around or gathering berries around, and humans produced more food. And because of this, the human population grew. But as you will see in history, whenever something is too good to be true that is happening, it probably has a terrible negative effect also. And it does. When the farmers plant the seed, they need to watch their plant grow and care for them. So humans begin to settle in villages to see their crops grow over time. But the farmers who work on the fields are mostly guys. And since men control food production, they gain more powers over women, and thus began the gender inequality. And as humans grew more and more crops, they produced extra food. And this means that for the first time, not every single human have to focus their entire life on food production. These humans that are freed from their works on the farm began to have more specialized roles like becoming artists, musicians, craftsmen, and inventors. This created a barter system, which is basically humans trading items for other items. For example, a craftsman might trade a ball that the farmer needs. In exchange for the ball, the farmers give the craftsman his crops. And it is during this time that different social classes begin to be created. As more villages came together, they start to form city-states, which is basically a city that controls a surrounding area. Basically, like Los Angeles, have influence over its surrounding area. And thus, the first civilization began to appear. There are four major civilizations that we're going to focus on, and all of them grew along river valleys. All of all those civilizations, they all have unique aspects in controlling the people they rule over and in the next video we're going to discuss who they are where they are how they developed and how they eventually fail so to recap during the paleolithic age human discovered how to use fire and stone tools during the mesolithic age human discovered how to domesticate animals and during the neolithic age the agricultural revolution happened and it created the first human civilizations thanks for watching and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe because next week we're going to discuss the four ancient civilizations of the world hope you guys have a nice day and see you next week